Pew, pew. Huh? <laughs> well, hello everyone, and welcome to Stronghold Crusader 2, a newly released title from Firefly Studios. Um, so, I'm really excited to be playing this on the day of release. So, I'm just going to be doing a blind playthrough here, uh, just to give you an idea of my settings. Uh, there we go, the Rambler. And that's my shield, just the Shield of England. My volume is set to 25%, so hopefully you can hear my voice over the game. If not, I'll edit that in, uh, you know, editing. Um, we have the graphics level set to Ultra by default, so these are all the settings you'll see in the game. And we're going to start off by playing through the tutorial, because I am quite new to the Stronghold titles. I did play Stronghold 2 back when it came out, I think it was 2005, so that was quite a while ago. And I haven't really played much since then, however I do really like building castles. Visiting castles are my favourite things to do as a child. Uh, my favourite one is probably Dover. Okay, so we're going to learn how to build and manage my castle in the desert, and your trusty advisor and confident scribe. Okay. Very wise, my lord. Here you will learn how to master your desert castle. Oh, how lovely. To scroll around the map, push the map. Splendid work. Yep. The mouse wheel zooms the map and outstanding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm doing it without even realizing. Your stockpile holds the resources you need to build other buildings. Uh huh. Left click on the stockpile icon, then find a flat, empty piece of desert and left click again to place it. Oh. Well done. Thank you. Well, he's very complimentary. Water has been transferred from your starting goods into your stockpile and is now available to use in construction. I see. Placing other storage buildings will later bring down other starting goods. Very good. For the castle to really take off, we will need peasants, sire. At the moment, we are unpopular, and the peasants' instincts are to leave our castle. Well, yes, no offence by Click on the here popularity either. area, and we will remedy the situation. Okay. Ah, that tax rate isn't helping us, sire. Oh. Reduce the tax rate to no taxes. That will bring the peasants back. Good work, my lord. <laughs> we are now in positive popularity. Good, good. That means peasants will come to our castle. The higher our popularity, the faster they will come. However, should we ever become unpopular again, they will leave. Oh. Peasants are very fickle in my experience, sire. Indeed they are, indeed. We can further increase our popularity, sire, if we were to actually feed our peasants. Mm. Click on the food buildings icon. Now, let's click necessary. on the granary icon, sire. Then lift click again to place it. Oh, over by the oasis would be a good spot, my lord. That's the oasis, I would imagine. Excellent. The granary has now received its starting goods. Now we can really encourage our peasants Sweet. by setting a generous ration level. Set the ration level on the popularity controls to normal, sire. Quarter ration should do. No, I guess I'll go for normal Splendid. rations. Splendid! Now we have some workers around the campfire. Just now, oh. click on the woodcutter's camp and build two wood camps near the palm trees. When oh. you are finished, you can right-click to stop placing buildings. Near the palm trees, eh? Okay, well, you can have one here. And you, sir, can have one... Here. Can't place... Good! Aha! Ah, notice how the idle peasants have automatically become woodsmen. This oh. is a good thing, sire, as there I is wish. usually a lot of wood needed in the construction of a village. I wish getting a career was that easy in nowadays, but hey ho. Hmm, there is a problem just around the corner, sire. Uh. Left click on the granary you built earlier to open its information panel. Oh. The trouble with feeding our peasants, sire, is that our food stocks are dwindling. Mm. We could reduce our ration level, or buy some more apples, but I suggest we start apple production at the castle. Okay. In order to access the build menu, however, we must first close the granary. Mediocre. What? Now, let's get our apple farms up and running. Click on the food buildings icon and place uh -huh. three apple farms on the green grass of the oasis. All farms need to be placed on fertile land, my liege, and you will find the control of these valuable areas is important here in the desert. Says one. No! No! Hi. 
Okay, let's try that again. Do I not have enough wood? It's not letting me place them. Or is it too near to the granary? That might be it. Oh, I was too near to the granary. Okay, that's fine. I understand. Well done, sire. Our granary will soon fill with apples. However, one of our apple farms lies idle. This yeah. is because we have used up all our available peasants. So I imagine I'm and going to be building popular, a hobble. Peasants will not come, as there is no more room. <laughs> this keep gives us bed space for eight people. Alistair if we Fornley, want more peasants, the jester, we will need he's to spreading build a merriment. Hovel. Click on oh, the Alistair. town buildings icon and place a hovel. Notice how the extra bed space oh. changes the further you move it's the hovel, hovel from the keep. It's like the size of my flat. Peasants do like to live close. Magnificent! Genius, my liege. You have solved the population issue. Of course, with more peasants, our apple supply will decrease more quickly. But mm. let's not worry about that now. We have one final lesson to learn. Castles? Click on the military buildings yes. icon and place a barracks, sire. We are going to arm some of the peasants. Ouch! Very good. Now, left click on the barracks, sire, to open its interface. With no weapons made, we can only arm our peasants with simple farm implements. Well... Click and create five armed conscripts now. Magnificent! Lordship! Oh, time, yes. Sire. It appears that a ferocious lion has been sighted near the village. Uh. This is having a poor effect on our castle's popularity. Nice day, your highness. <laughs> Let's kill that lion. <laughs> well done. All right. Now, right click on the map. To move your selected we have formations? to the highlighted area, sire. Oh, a command. Yeah, you betcha. Lordship. Lordship. Can we have some horses? No. What? Do, no, you can't. Do what? Do what? You'll go in the... You'll do whatever I tell you to, okay? Magnificent. Okay, let's do now it. Now our men are in range. Watch out. Right click on the lion to order out men to attack him, my lord. I would laugh if they failed in this task to kill a lion. Hey ho! Well, actually, one of the conscripts is now dead. Well done, sire. I can see you are a natural leader of men. Thank you. Well, sire, I think my work here is done and the tutorial over. Would well, you like to continue here for a little while longer? Well, I figured that that would be We're going. a little bit longer. Let's However, get walking. Um, there we have it, that's the tutorial of Stronghold Crusader 2. Uh, join me next time. I appreciate this is a very short video, um, so apologies for that, but it's nice to see the tutorial and all of its loveliness. Um, so next time I'll probably start on the campaign, so yeah, that should be up very shortly. So until next time everyone, I bid you a good day.